Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Enroll. Previously on Enroll, we gained some new friends after we ventured into a world that was pretty corrupted. So let's continue on with the main story now. Cat. There's one of those blocking the road back in another area too, which is funny. Ah, uh, hello. Good morning. Have you come to visit Saxon? I just finished a checkup. It's nothing like friending. Be at ease. However, it may be that my medicines have their limits in treating him. They should have more effective medicine at Clover Hospital, but... Oh, Saxon and Miriel are in the room in the back. Don't push them too much. Also, I should probably apologize. I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Roses. Rosebud. That actually kind of makes sense, Rosebud. Considering in the context of like you being sick here. Green is jealousy. Ah, Russell. G good morning. So you came here to check on the master. Thank you very much. Ah. Uh. It's you. It's hard to worry you. I'm alright now. But Mirie tells me not to move in the spot, so here I stay. Sorry, but I'm so worried. I'll go to Glover Hospital and get you some medicine. You should rest well. Russell, sorry to ask this out of the blue, but I have a request for you. Would you come to her to go into Clover Hospital? Huh? I'll be fine on my own. I'm not a child. I trust you, of course. However, it's dangerous all over lately. Monsters have begun appearing in pe once peaceful places. These are abnormal circumstances. So we should all take precautions. Can I ask you to go? I see. Thank you. Look after her, please. Um, er, sorry, Russell. Well, I was actually a tiny bit uneasy. So it does help. You have my regards. Oh, sorry again. Before we go to Clover Hospital, can you spare a moment? I want to get the master's clinical records from Dr. Cantera. To give to the doctor at the hospital. Since naturally it would be concerning to just ask him, please give us medicine. So... I suspect you're my last party member. Because I got those books that give you unique skills and you're like the last one to get it. Nice. Gil. Jealous Beast. So you have some heals. You can revive. So you're a little bit like Dogma. Let's see. Small non-elemental damage confuses foe. You have a dark skill of Jealous Beast. So you're kind of like a, a all trades. You got some healing support skills. You got some damage skills. And of course you're primarily a caster. Yes, you're you're almost exclusively a caster. Give me your records, I'm gonna beat you up. Oh, what are you two doing together? Are you done visiting Saxon? Hmm. Saxon's records. Ah, going to Clover Hospital bring him medicine, I see. Hold there and I go bring them. Yes, this should do. Be careful not to lose them. Oh yes, and Clover Hospital's on the west side of Seaside. Be careful on your way. Oh. 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 Uh, I think I, our new party member has some personal issues to uh, take care of. It actually kind of makes sense because the cat was blocking this place before. And that's the same statue as the one in the building. But this hospital is literally on a beach. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna have like infrastructure problems. Oh hey, I'm a captain. Let's jump find me here and throw in the corner and all. Don't to warn you, I ain't got no seed, no nothing, sorry about that. And if you'll take it, I got some good info for you. I'm a little knowledgeable guy, spots appearances. But just between us, if you want all plants around the world, it'll be worth your while. And what was it, the wise one stone? And let's peel them back and go on that thing. 
If you want a little plan, then go pay my last visit and I'll have stuff for you. Oof. You must be cautious. A jealous beast is right beside you. Hey, little kids, Master. Whew. We made it to Clover Hospital. It's surprisingly far. I'm tired. Uh, well, first we need to hand in the records. Let's go to the reception desk. Hello, I'm Hitman, a spiritual dream thing. This is sudden, but you are aware of your guilt level. You may hazard if you talk to the black guy. Yeah, I already know that one. Memory hit manners. Babe. I've been waiting for two hours now. I just want some cold medicine. I wonder if I'd gone better faster if I just slept at home instead of coming here. Kelpies. So this is Clover Hospital? That's a big place! But we don't catch colds, so can we even be here? You catch nervousness. Hello, I'm a Kelpie. I'm not really sick or anything, but while I'm riding on the waves, I end up coming here. I wonder if they're going to give me any injections. I have a blood vessel, so... Yeah. I gotta don't like hospitals, especially ones this big. Something's gonna appear for sure. Well, actually, pretty one of the floors really is haunted. Scary. A lot of green. But cola. Cola good? I don't know. It's cola. It's fizzy and heals one. What kind of plant is like? It's a skyscraper plant. My throat hurts. It's downright harmful living in those run-down apartments. They're dusty and the cold is in winter. Not a good thing about them. Yeah, my buddy's gonna check up. I'm here win, Mia. It's probably dead. That's what happens when you use catnip, Mia. I'd be beyond help now, Mia. I. It's no use. I'm gonna just die right here. This morning. I hate what looked like an herb crook on Dragon's Peak. Then I started having hallucinations. I think it's called a Yamabasho. You should be careful. It tasted pretty good though. You got cursed. Pull something? Oh my god. Even with these muscles, can I really not beat the common cold? I know what you're about to say. You probably want to say put on some clothes. But I can't do it because I'm a muscle. What the hell? I can't believe a measly little cold knocked me out. And I'm putting a burn on my construction buddies too. Pathetic. Welcome to Clover Hospital. What are you here for today? I sense a bar in your eyes. I see. I understand the situation. Let me have those records. Now please wait until your name is called. It will take a little while. Please understand. Phew, I'm glad. Now all we have to do is wait. Though, it looks very crowded. We may have to wait quite a while. I'm Russell. If you get bored of waiting, you can rock around the hospital. I'll be waiting here until a name is called, so please go ahead. Well, my party's down one person. Fame, wealth, love, and lastly, health. And to open the way to health, what you seek, you must free the jealousies of fame, wealth, and love. Blondie. Jealousy is like a sickness. Even if it seems cured once, it keeps breaking out again and again, tormenting us. This hospital is currently full of jealous beasts. Without freeing the three jealousies, you won't attain the final leaf. Weird. Some pulsing thing is growing up on the floor. What? Yeah. Yeah, you, uh... uh you, you done for, buddy. An unfamiliar girl has been killed by the corruption of some unfathomable thing. A red compass. Blood run from some nameless town. There's a crush blotting red. 
on the cliff beside the restaurant. A frightful path of red blood, a nameless town of you and all, on the cliff beside the restaurant. My party's still lacking a fourth person, which... which ain't good. Oh man, bathrooms. That sound like death traps. The other day I tried pouring coal in this thing and melted away. I was pretty surprised. So it doesn't seem to work on all of them. Man, I really don't get these. What I'm thinking is, only round-headed and moving ones can be melted with cola. Why not test it with this one? Ooh. I better go buy some more. Someone's in the bathroom. I am in... Bathroom world. This is a place where the kind, friendly strangers live. Let's get a fourth party member. Welcome to the village of kind, friendly strangers. Welcome, welcome. Oh no, I know what this is. Cute little boy, let me give you some candy. Oh no. Wait, can I get infinite amounts of this candy? Is it okay to eat? No! It's not... at all! Hey there, boy! Welcome to the Village of Strangers! Isn't it fun and wonderful? Cute little boy, let me give you some... Uh... This is a high up place. Us strangers keep watch here for the children's safety. Oh, sure you do. Hey there, boy! Welcome to the high up place! Welcome, welcome! Cute little boy... I'm just gonna sell these things. This is a nice stranger's house. It's not scary. Come right in. The worst part is I found this world in a bathroom stall. Aren't you tired, little boy? Who's gonna help you get tired in your journey? You can rest for a bit at my house. Come on, boy, come on! I've got lots of tasty candy, and I'll show you lots of fun shows on the TV. Now come on, come on! <laughs> oh! That's scary. Hard and cream cake. Very sweet berry cream. TV made of candy. Well, you weren't lying about that. Is this really a rest? Oh my god. Oh no. No. <laughs> yep, we're, uh... I'm gonna strike you really hard. I don't even know what this does. Stranger has an uncomfortable smile. Our defense is going down. A stranger told me, I'll give you candy if you come to my house. Disgusting. <laughs> Statue the bear, a single target attack. <laughs> Deliver you attack. That was worth it. 
called Deliver You for large damage to all enemies. This is a nice stranger's house. It's not scary. Come right in. You love candy, right? Oh god, are all the homes like this? Time to clean house. Yeah, no wonder. Well, straight to the point, aren't we? Bye. Oh, you must be the last stranger's house. Hello, boy. I just want to give you help however I can. Take a rest of my house. But tasty candy. This is just a reoccurring thing. Nope. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna feel this. I think that's all the strangers we could handle. Sure is quiet today. Yeah, no wonder. See you guys later. Well, that was a journey. These purple things are growing all over the hospital. What even are they? I asked the nurse, but she just said there was nothing to worry about. Like, I'm still curious. Oh, I haven't seen you around. Could to visit someone? Don't run in the hospital. Not everyone has health like you. Day after day, I take patients' blood, change sheets, listen to the doctor's scolding. It's so tiring. I'd like if I could go to Silver's Horse or a place sometime. Even if I can't go, I like to eat something I feel like I did. The creepy things growing all over the West Ward. Are they plants, do you think? They start popping up all over a couple of days ago. Not exactly nice to look at, so I can't help but be unsettled. Gone, Jim. Have you seen the people sleeping in the hospital beds? The people corrupted by those purple things, unable to move. They've caught an illness known as jealousy. A terrible and incurable illness. The first symptom of this illness is your eyes turning green. You should watch out. Drawings. Or leaf clovers. Ring toss. A blonde girl and a bob-haired girl are whispering to each other accordingly. I don't know why. There's never anyone on the second floor of Eastward. Would oh, you think that's strange? No patients would be one thing, but no doctors or nurses either. That's definitely strange, right? Definitely something's up, right? And it's not all. When I'm slipping in here at night, sometimes I hear footsteps from the second floor. But no one goes. Man, it's scary, honestly. What can I even do? I want to be dismissed soon. <sighs> I 
went out of here quick. I'm gonna get out of shape sleeping here all the time. Of course, even if I do get even a little less fit, I think I'd still be way better than any of my teammates. I'm a leader of the super famous soccer club, after all. I'm in a whole other league from your average loser. <laughs> okay, Gary. The guy in the bed next to mine says he's a leader of some famous soccer club. But he's the kind of guy who takes that and just brags about it. He really irritates me. Can I do anything? Wish I could be some kind of incident in a cocky jerk's fame pummeling. Maybe this nurse might know if he has any weaknesses. I'll go ask her later. Jealousy! Destroy someone's fame for this boy's sake. You want the medicine for his health, don't you? Ever since that new girl came here, she's only paid attention to her and stopped caring about me. If only that black bob-haired girl were gone, I would have my love. Yes, I wish she'd just get locked away in a room somewhere. Some dark and scary storeroom. And I'm sure that girl would play with me again. Jealousy. Destroy the love between these two girls for this one's sake. Are you visiting someone? Not sure why else you'd be wandering around here. You don't seem to know this hospital very well, so I'll warn you. You shouldn't go to the second floor of the East Ward. Why? Because the doctors say to stay away. They probably keep lots of important documents there. Or ghosts! The elf has been repaired, yeah? You wanna go to the second floor, use the stairs, yeah? Then when I tried to use them early, I got chill. Found myself stepping away, yeah? The stairs? Something there, yeah? I'm too surprised in the hospital, yeah? You gotta be careful, you know? Authorized personnel only. Okay. Hello, mister. Do you want something? My friend's getting checkups, so she's around now. Uh, I'm bored. I know, mister. You should play with me until my Celeste gets back from her checkup. Really? Hooray! Okay, how about a can hiding game? I've been playing this with Melissa. What's it like? Well, one person hides a can, and never goes to look for it. So, first, mister, hide a can somewhere. I'll be the one to search. Okay, I can hide a can. Somewhere dark. Where's dark? Bathroom? I mean, the lockers are kind of dark. A storeroom. The bat was really freaked out early when he found a spider in the bathroom. Maybe I'll catch a spider and use it to pester him. I should show him up some. Cause spider room. Music's pretty sad. Well, I can't break that one. Well, I can't break that one. Now I need more cola. That's like a spooky storeroom. Superb capsule. Better look for items before I go. Oh man, lemon pie in the dangerous room. This is Westward second floor. Please keep quiet. Ah, what a bomber. Just who would do that? There's a storm room here on the Westward second floor. Lately, people have been putting drink cans in cardboard boxes. I assume it's the children from pediatrics playing pranks. But I wish I could see the people who have to clean them up. I think I'm buying a Ricola, just in case.
talking from the inside. Come on now, don't make this difficult. It won't hurt. It's just a regular examination. How many times have I heard that? You'll feel some slight discomfort. After all the screaming's done, of course. Listen to me, please. This won't end if you don't sit still. I'm just gonna give you a little shot and check your health. It's okay. Oh boy. Authorized person in only. Broom. Washing machine's working restlessly. Hello, hello, anyone here? Someone's working hard. Hmm. You can obviously push someone off there. How nice it must be to be rich. There's a nurse at the reception desk on the westward second floor. Have you met her? Her father is a wealthy man, famous in the area. She may work here, but she's never once heard for money. If you're rich, you should just live it up at home like a rich person. Why come and look down on the common people? Does she find it fun? Maybe she wants to work. I wish she'd make some big mistake and get fired. She didn't need any more money than she has anyway. Punish someone with much wealth for her sake. Let's see. The tough thing's about, but it's work worth doing. Ah, young man, are you thinking of working in the hospital someday? Well, you need to study up. Let's see. I'm about to go to the treatment room to the right to give an injection. Do you want something from me? Ah, I see. Well, I need to get going now. The patient is waiting for me. Oh, they switched places. Wow. Dangerous medicines, huh? Lying on the counter. About medicine, let's read this. Purple, harmony, goodwill. Green, jealousy, ill will. Red, murder, bloodlust. Maybe I shouldn't talk to her. Let's, let's go out and save. I don't talk to her. Red. Alright, it's time for your injection now. Hold out your arm and relax it. The doctor! Someone! Someone help! The patient. It's all gone horribly wrong. What do I do? Where, where are you going? Oh, you gotta run off the edge. I knew it. What's going on? Why would she do that? Huh? She injected a patient with the red medicine? No. But that's no reason to kill herself too, is it? It's not my fault. I didn't want to kill anyone. She, she just jumped on her own. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this at all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She became jealousy. Oh, nurse shoes, thanks. You freed her jealousy by making that wealthy daughter jump off the roof from shock. However, even so, she hasn't brought herself any money. Foolish woman. So that's why, that's how these things are formed. Ooh. Well, that's... That's three murders in a row. I mean, we're doing good, Russell. You're living up to your name. Good job. Hey. Oh yeah, I hid that can. Go check it out. I see. Thank you. Okay, I'll go search the hospital for it. Just you wait. I'm gonna find it in no time. 
Okay, see you, mister. I'll come right back here once I find it. Hey, you like spiders? What's with you? Don't glare at people. What do you want? I am here to spin a tale that you're not gonna like. Hmm? You got something for me? Any fan letters should... Ah! Spider! The word fuzzy is that vague grossness. I hate it. Help me, mommy! Pfft, did you see that? Help me, mommy. I just seen like that. I'm sure even he can't be so bigoted anymore. I mean, it's a spider. A lot of people are scared of spiders. Thanks to you, now I know his weakness. Ah, what a relief. He freed his jealousy, making that boy hook down on him run away at the sign of a little bug. However, even so, his fame itself hasn't even suffered a scratch. Foolish boy. Yeah, it's like... I'm not gonna change the fact he's like a pro soccer player. Where'd that bomb-haired girl go? No way, were my prayers answered? That bomb-haired girl took Melissa from me. Went to the dark and scary storeroom? Good. There's a ghost in that room. That girl can't be saved now. Good. Perfect. That ghost kidnaps children from the, around the hospital and eats them in the storeroom. There's no saving her. Good. I wonder where the blonde haired boy went. Uh oh. Okay, from inside, go in. Oh my god, there actually are evil ghosts. Russell, good, I found you. This is not what it looks like. Did you hear that announcement? It was kind of unclear, but... I didn't just lure an innocent little girl into a room and have her eaten by ghosts. I think they said they come to the consulting room on the East Ward, East Ward, second floor. So let's go there quickly. I want to bring back the medicine for my master soon. You freed her jealousy, believing that bomb-haired girl in a dark, scary storeroom, and having her killed by wandering creatures. However, even so, whether Melissa will give any love back to her is never store entirely. Foolish girl. Didn't work out so well, did it? Welcome to the haunted floor. Just walk past all of us evil ghost eating peoples. Loiters. So that's what you guys are calling, huh? Let's see how jealous beast does. Wow. Wolf oh, feels so, so, so sorry. Seems to be locked. Is there a place I can, like, maybe rest? I can rest up here. Good. Ah, my head hurts. I just can't get used to that weird hospital smell. Luckily I'm built sturdy. I've had to stay in the hospital many times in all. It'd be bad if I had to be hospitalized in this place. I'd be too scared to sleep. Wow! I've never been to such a big hospital before. From what I've heard, hospital meals are really gross. Boy, that sucks. But if it's really that gross, 
That kind of makes me interested. Gets my cooking blood going. Uh, is Master okay? His condition has stabilized, but I can't help but worry. I need to get his medicine quickly. I believe we were called to the consulting room in the floor below, right? But are Dr. Sue just fond of the monsters wandering around? Move to the dodge, the dodge. Hey Russell, need my information. Let's get right to it. The monsters around here, they appear to be non-elemental. Magic and physical attacks are both fairly effective. Also, there are lots who will inflict status ailments on you. Could be bad if you're unprepared. Having an Arvoid branch or simile defense should be reliable. Also, keep your waiting pills and refreshes ready. Not bad area. Let's avoid. Oh, no, no choice. You're, uh, you're the, the cat eyes. Hmm, there's no one here. This should be the consulting room they mentioned, though. The sculpture, though. Doesn't it look just like the one in Master's house. Maybe it's a replica of a famous piece. Even then, it's a rabber. Rabber caddy? What? For a moment. Jealousy of his health. If you wish to have the final leaf of the four leaf clover, then. Kill me. Jealous one appeared. What is this? A green eyed beast? Also, watch out, it's coming. Let's try birthday. I'll just use snipe on you. Yeah, sweep up that bad person. I think you do dark damage, though. Green eyes are mine with jealousy. Are they mine or hers? Or perhaps his eyes? All people keep a jealous beast. Yes, everyone does. <laughs> when Dad hit me, I got bruises. Whenever I got a bruise, I went to the hospital in secret. Though I didn't have any necessary documents or any money, there was a nurse who secretly brought me cold compresses. Stop muttering murder. <laughs> when she lost the will to live and cried saying, kill me, I repaid my debt to the nurse by pushing her off the roof. After paying my debt, I found her diary. It was the vicious red diary of a woman mad with jealousy. <laughs> Darkness scarf. Edgy. Just, what was that? Russell, are you unhurt? 
Thank you for your efforts. Nyx, come to the roof. Come to the rooftop. And watch her. She falls. Are they saying the medicine is on the roof of the hospital? Why is it so roundabout? Nothing to be done, I suppose. Let's head there. Just be very careful. I learned fear. Rush also has a kind of a weird niche unless you customize him. Of he has a few damaging skills, but he has a lot of support skills. We're on the rooftop. I don't see anything at a glance. Let's split up and search. The medicine could be hidden somewhere. You, uh, you were kind of near the edge. I have to. Goodbye. So the other death was foreshadowing this. Blonde. Everywhere. Going to here, huh? Someone's diary. It's full of scribbled red writing. Read it. When you speak of your wife, you look to be very relaxed. Why is that? She'd only come to visit you a few times since you were hospitalized. Why is it that I'll never be able to beat such a woman? It's regrettable. I don't remember when, but you once told me I'm envious of your health. You and I are both jealous people. People with green eyes. I want to be by your side always. Not as patient a nurse. Nothing to do with that. I love you, just as a person. If I could be by your side, I would be as obedient as a servant and offer everything to you. So the way their life is structured in the dream is similar to what she wished. When I see you suffering, I should be very sad. But for some reason, I laughed. Because if I didn't call for the doctor and didn't give you this medicine, then I alone, I alone could be there in your final moments. That's what I realized. In a world without you, I don't have any desire to live. I'm glad that I met you. I'll make this diary I wrote with you into my final message and say goodbye. So, the initial few people we dealt with were normal, but then the later ones we've encountered in Russell's life all were twisted. In a way, almost like Russell himself. And mixing with Russell's lack of empathy, was a terrible equation. Goodbye. Uh, that's all closed off. The hospital is empty. I guess that's it. I mean, the plant's still there. <laughs> Pengi? Has this whole hospital been abandoned? Hmm? What are you doing here, yeah? This hospital, yeah? It's been closed for a while now. And it'll be demolished soon. But then who was the hospital? First there was a medical mishap, then nurse jumped to her death. Lots happened, so yeah. Not good omens there, basically. You better leave quick, yeah? Eh? Pick on the girl? Don't know about that. I mean, I've been here for a while. These ain't wanna leave, yeah? How does a haunted place work in a dream? I mean, it's still... It's technically still a dream, so like, is it really haunted, or is it just my dream world changing itself? Whoa, oh boy. Things are all right, right?
It's a ghost within a dream. That doesn't make any sense, but you know. Uh, Russell. I was worried how late you were out. I assume I must have been crowded at the hospital. Sorry to take up your time. So, er, did you get the medicine I asked for? Thank you, Russell. I should feel better of this. Apologies for the trouble. You really helped me today. Here's my heartfelt thanks. I want you to take this. Russell, really, thank you so much. I want to thank you, too. It's not much, but please call me for me if you ever need anything. I'll do my best to assist. You have my regards. I see you, jealousy cat. Oh! That ain't good. That ain't good at all. It's no good. That ain't cool. Yo, there's a monster around here. Something should have opened up near the restaurant. Yeah. 